Welcome back to Alone With You. Let's go check out the, uh, the comms relay and see if we can find a way to send a distress signal. It's our last hope. As I thought, the tower is in an extreme state of disrepair. I think the transmission is coming from one of the upper floors. Main switching room. Elevator. Suits on this floor first. Hmm, colorful cables. Those modular columns allowed hot wiring and switching of various equipment and channels as operators dealt with shifting conditions. It looks like someone has done some creative rewiring inside. Nothing is quite where it should be, but somehow the wiring makes sense. Maintenance ash locked. Man, this music's really cool. Looks like there's some hula hoops in the corner over here. Alright, let's go up. Shift quarters, break room locked. Separate elevator to keep going up. Several books have been left to rot in the moisture that has overtaken that room. They are completely ruined. Those quarters were temporary, temporary lodgings for shift workers. Someone likely was using them until the room became compromised. The wall between those two rooms has collapsed, but there's definitely something on the other side. See if you can find a way to unlock the door that leads to the other room. Guess we gotta keep going up. Pulley system? Very interesting. It looks like some kind of makeshift pulley system. Someone must have been trying to move heavy objects from this floor to the next. Clever. Signal monitoring room. Oh, that so looks like a tool on the ground, but it isn't. I don't think it's possible to get these stations back online again. The equipment has been completely destroyed by exposure to the elements. Ooh, security room. That should allow me to unlock it. Security conduit. That exposed data conduit is connected to the security system. If you pull it, you can disrupt the security system. Will you break the cable? Of course. That drone has had its components thoroughly scavenged and removed. It is but a shell of its former self. Fourth floor catwalk password required. There we go, that unlocked the break room. There's a hasty sketch of a map made over pages from an old book. The lines are difficult to make out among the text. It, it indicates three buildings. I'm assuming they're buildings, with a web of lines going between them. The map marks areas around as well. The title has been written messily above the sketch. It says, Castles. I wonder what it means. Hmm. Well, the lines between all the buildings is probably the catwalks, and castles is probably the password. Torn pages appear to belong to the other, to the others you found so far. The story continues again. Paula had once again begun to settle in her castle, the same one. The routine of survival kept the dark out of her thoughts. But as her castle began to creak and buckle around her, just as the one before and the one before that had, 
she felt it again, beside her. The dark. If only you had reached out. If only you had done more than just listen on your little radio. Paula. You don't know what you're talking about. There was no one to reach out to. No one safe, anyway. That's why I'm here. The dark. You're going to die here. She seems to wait a very long time before speaking again. Paula. I know. The dark. And there's nothing you can do about it. Here, Paula starts to cry. Paula. I know. I'm afraid that is the last page in this batch. What a sad story. Alright, back up to the security room. Main operations or fifth floor catwalk. Oh yeah, here's the pulley system continuing up. Let's go to main operations first. We'll look at that. Is that where the signal is coming from? That's a standard issue energy tool. Looks like it only has a bit of charge left, but you can use it to open certain panels. That's it. Those terminals are the source of the signal. They've been manually networked in a sophisticated array so as to boost their processing power. That's interesting. I can read it from there. It's a distress signal. Like the one we were trying to send. Somebody beat us to the punch. Only, well, the signal is different. How very clever. What is it? We were trying to send a signal to nearby shipping traffic. This array is much more complex and goes one better. It's actually a self-repeating and preserving signal. It isn't just a broadcast, but a kind of virus, one that attaches itself to wherever it lands. Ooh, that is clever. So, what now? Let's continue to explore the tower. I need to consider how this might affect things. Yeah, I mean, that's a good thing. It's a bad thing that we haven't been saved yet. Apparently it hasn't if it has been successful, it's taken them a while to get back here, but uh, it's less work for us. There's another segment of that pulley system. It must have been very difficult to haul things up two floors with this. Password required. I would like to go back down, please. There we go. So, where now then? Was there another locked room? There probably was. Yeah, we just went to the break room. No, that just goes back outside, right? Yeah, okay, I missed something. Oh, wait. Main switching room. Did I go there? I don't remember. Oh, yeah. Ah, accessible. The cooling caves. Okay. The energy tool you found should let you open this up. Aha. Uh -huh. Though the planet's landscape made it difficult, facilities used geothermal systems whenever possible to save energy. 
There used to be coils that dispersed the heat generated by the communications equipment and returned cool air. Judging by the destruction you found so far, the coils aren't functioning and are buried under rubble. That's a heavy-duty operations binder for for some of the communications equipment used in the relay. It's missing its pages, but something is written on the cover. It looks like a radio code and the word William. Well, that's probably the password for the uh, place I just tried to go. William. Batch of pages are scattered on the rock floor. Looks like they fell out of something. They likely continue the story of the pages you found before. These ones, though, are scraps and leaves from other books. What I can make out says, After their last conversation, Paula didn't see the dark for a long time. She didn't need to. Its words haunted her every day, and as her food and water continued to deplete, she began to wish it would show up just for someone to talk to. Paula, I know you're there. You're with me everywhere now. Say something. But for weeks, she received no answer. Finally, as Paula lay in her newest castle, her final home, she heard its voice again. The dark. So you've admitted it, have you? To yourself, I mean. Paula, you don't seem very happy about it. What happened to being smug? The dark. I don't feel like it. Things are too serious. Paula, you're starting to sound like me. <laughs> At this, the dark offered a sad smile and sat down beside Paula. All they could hear was the wind outside and the creaking of the castle. The dark. That's because I am you, of course. You know that. And I'm afraid our time has run out. Paula sensed how cold the dark was, and she felt her strength drain away like a small stream. I think it's time we found out what's up on the fifth floor before this entire relay collapses. Yeah, let's hope this one doesn't explode on us. Wait, this isn't the right way, is it? Oh, no it is. Oh my, that room must be quite a sight. That terminal is in very poor shape. Though it has had many modifications added to it, it has since been disconnected and thoroughly vandalized for parts. I don't understand why someone would go to the trouble of setting up that terminal only to completely disable it. It appears to be a desk constructed from a wall panel and two struts. There's a pile of field notebooks and quite a lot of pages. You know, those pages seem to have the same makeup as the torn pages you found. That, coupled with the writing instruments there, mean those stories were likely penned there. Oh. Oh. Is that... whose body I think it is? Yep, it's the body of Winnie Laurier. Judging by the condition of the corpse, she died about a year ago, in 2063. I'm just running the scan a few times to confirm cause of death. Cause of death, this will take just a moment. After these weeks of seeing Miss Laurier in the Hollowsum chamber, is this is this difficult for you? Yeah. There was nothing you could have done. You didn't even know Miss Laurier prior to this entire catastrophe. I understand that probably does not help much. Well, 
I have the results of the scan. Based on trace materials and what tissue is left, I have determined that the cause of death was suicide by ingestion of medication. She was likely very malnutritioned, uh, malnourished by the time she decided to take her life. Doesn't seem like there's a lot of food stores there, despite her efforts. She must have mixed several medications from emergency supply kits in the end. If it is any consolation, she likely died in a state of sleep. Despite how resourceful and clever she was, it seems Miss Laurier met with the most tragic end. I know it may not be much right now, but at least we were able to learn about Miss Laurier's transmission virus. There isn't anything more you need to worry about there. Come on back home. Well, still a few more things to see first. There isn't anything left in that medical supply kit except for a few pills and a small portion of water. No colony equipment. The radio has been configured from a variety of parts. It's been made to pick up all kinds of digital and analog signals. There's nothing but static coming from its speaker now. How long has it been running like this, I wonder? That shelf was constructed in quite a hasty fashion. It contains many physical books on various subjects, some of which have been written in extensively. The chair is rusty and old, by colony standards. There are a stack of short novels beside it. From there, I imagine the view of the planet must be quite spectacular. Such a grim place. Alright, let's get out of here. On one hand, we are very, very fortunate that Miss Loria realized her ingenuity and did what she did. Yet, on the other, she was apparently unable to cope with her situation. Such a tragic loss of a good mind. I... I don't know what to say. Just come see me when you're ready, I suppose. Alright, well, I think I'm gonna end this episode here. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're gonna sync our data with the AI core, and then... At some point, we're probably gonna have a conversation with, uh, Winnie Laurier. And I think we're gonna tell her what happened. With her. Which is probably gonna be very un unpleasant, but... We promised we would look into it and see if we can figure out exactly what happened, so we gotta tell him. <laughs>